Hello my lovely, so this is Lizzie uh, and today I'm bringing you the Love From Lizzie February 2018 release. I am I'm also showing you all the add-ons that are going to go along with the kit if you like to add a little something extra into your box. Um, we're very happy to pack them all in to save on the shipping. So anyway, right, there is an awful lot to get through today so I'm going to be as quick as possible. This is the February kit. The full unboxing video is up um, and it will have been posted just before this video. Uh, I am currently at Creativation as you're watching this so I'm doing this all ahead of time so hopefully everything runs nice and smoothly for me. But So this is the Birthday Balloons card kit. It's available in the shop. For those of you that are on subscription, it's coming your way. So what I'm going to do now is run through the add-on products that I'm recommending to go along with this kit in case you'd like to add them up. And some products are brand new, others are um, <clears throat> products that I have listed previously in my old shop, but since I've moved over, and they're new again. So I'm going to show you, we've got some liquid chalk pens. I am doing this, um, the white comes individually, but I'm also listing now four neon colours. So there's green, yellow, orange and pink. They're all sets. <clears throat> and if you've seen the unboxing, do, do excuse my throw, I'm sorry. Um, it's very late at night here and I'm trying to get everything done before I can go. <laughs> so um, because of all of the chalkboard and the black elements, these will be lovely to use. Um, there are also some directly coordinating products. So there's Brad's. There are buttons that are made out of chipboard, wood and plastic. There is also some layered chipboard. And these have got some really nice gold glitter accents. And some gems that are really pretty and really nice and deep as well. There is also... This is a 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard um, cut in half so you, you get two sides. Um, they are self-adhesive. Um, and there's over 50 odd pieces in that one, but then happy birthday, obviously, kind of takes that number down a little bit. But there are those. There is 12 by 12 stickers. Usually I like to try to put these in the kit if I can, but I couldn't get my hands on enough of them this month, unfortunately. So um, I've put them in as an add-on for those of you that really do like them. There's two alphabets, lots of icons and sentiments and some really pretty, and obviously all these patterns coordinate directly with the patterned papers and some of the aspects of the kit. Um, I'm recommending the Love From Lizzie Peel-Offs in both pink and black because you can never have too many pinstripe peel-offs. <laughs> I have got the Birthday Balloons sequin mix, this is the full bag. So there's gold, teal, baby pink, cerise pink, black, sequins in lots of different sizes and shapes in there including little black heart confettis. There are 24 chalkboard stickers so these if you've watched the unboxing are very similar to some of the cut apart sheets so you could layer them up and again with the pens they'll be great so it's 24 in that pack. These little chalk tags actually made it into the August Love From Lizzie kit. Um, there are 20 in here, you get 10 of each design. There's bows with For You and then a little heart with XOXO. Um, so those are there. Because of the whole chalkboard theme, I've, I've run with it. So <laughs> I hope it makes sense as to why I've done it. There are some mini dyes. So there is Happy Birthday with a Cupcake. These have all been previously listed in the old shop. There's a larger cupcake. And then there is Happy Birthday. Um, I'm recommending if you want some specialty cardstock. This is in UK A4, so it's slightly longer and slightly narrower than American and Canadian 8.5 by 11. So there's black glitter, gold glitter. You do get half a sheet of this in the kit. And then there is black mirror as well. So, and you'll get black mirror in your kit. So there's those. These have been in the shop for some time, but because they are metallic and they work well on black, I'm recommending them as an add-on if you don't have these. They're like they're really creamy, they're like butter to colour with. I really enjoy these. Um, and I'm gonna share some pictures on Instagram, hopefully, whilst I'm at Creativation because I've, I'm taking these away with me to have a little play with. So then next up 
In the kit, you're going to get some gilding flakes, some um, Nouveau gilding flakes, just like a little sample bag. But I'm releasing all three colours that are available back into the shop. Oh gosh, we did have those um, in the shop beforehand, so um, that isn't something new, but it's back available again. These are the five colours of Nouveau drops that will coordinate nicely. There is bubblegum blush as part of the kit, which is a nice baby pink. But there's carnation pink, there is dandelion yellow, gloss white and ebony black. These two I think are brilliant because they go with everything. And these are jewel drops in key lime. These were a recommended add-on for last month's as well. So if you got last month's kit and you were on the fence, now that you know that there's two kits it'll work with, perhaps, perhaps it will sway you. <laughs> I've also listed um, some of the glimmer pastes, um, the peridot green, the golden glimmer and the black diamond, three that coordinate nicely with the colour palette, um, and <clears throat> three oxides. I did actually use um, fossilised amber as well when I did my 10 cards one kit. You'll see that, that um, video very soon, I'll be posting that shortly. But yes, yeah, so these are, oh gosh, these are the three colours that I'm recommending. So those are the add-ons and there is also a release so please bear with me while I just scooch these out of the way. The, um, the, the release this month is me trying to um, get some like crafting essentials available for you because I know there's, I'm, all, I'm forever wanting to update tools and um, glue the adhesives you know, the, the essentials that you just need all the time. So I have, I'm have i trying to look at this from a crafter's perspective. So uh, before I do that, I'm going to run through the two mega packs. I'm um, releasing two. There is Floral Wishes, and I will be as quick as I can. I'm very aware that this will run long if I'm not careful. So this is the smaller of the two mega packs because it doesn't have a stamp set in it. So it is somewhat cheaper. But there are eight dies and they're all sentiments. So there's get well soon, with love, with sympathy. I had someone ask in my Facebook group recently about sympathy cards and then they're, they're not particularly easy to do, but I think this mega pack will lend itself well to quite a nice warm uh, sympathy card. Then you have two little blooms which layer up. You also have thank you, thanking you, sorry, and best wishes. And because they're all back to front, this is what they look like when they're cut the right way. So they are the dies. Then there is, I'll show you the patterned papers. They're eight by eight. And you get two of each. So there is um, this lovely pearlescent. Can that shine? You can just see it. It's over sort of poppies and I'm not quite sure which, what flower this is. If somebody knows and they want to pop it in the comments there below, that'd be great. And there's also butterflies. But you get two, or you can probably see the shine better on the back actually. It's two of those. This is another pearlescent sheet with some nice butterflies. This is like a rose gold copper foil over a sort of smoky grey. This is another gold foil. This looks like a really posh kitchen floor. <laughs> Someone that doesn't have um, normal grout and they have nice shiny foil instead. This has got spot glitter. So this is stag heads with, with blooms in the middle, if you like. And then um, this is almost like quite botanical. It's got some lovely little insects with a plaid background and then wreaths around them all and that's all monochromatic. Um, and this is the reverse side of that same sheet. So they are all turned over so you'll see front and back. So this is the front of this one with the ferns on and this is the back of it with, with the hexagons. Yeah, <laughs> I had to double check there. And then we've got some really nice cute hearts and then that's got a nice plain background which is a smoky grey again. We've got some lovely arrows with some sort of mixed media text in the background and this is like a grid. But it's not an exact grid, so it's it's sort of freehand. It's not done with like a ruler, as it were. 
Um, and then you've got a nice geometric pattern. And this looks like canvas. The camera probably won't pick that up, unfortunately. Um, but it's completely smooth, but it looks as though it has texture. A lovely sort of mixed media effort with some stripes and some text um, in the background of roses. Got a really nice stripe pattern, monochromatic floral. And that's the reverse of it with like smaller floral design. This looks like a really distressed um, peachy pink colour. And this again, another distressed one. This looks like floorboards that have been rubbed over. These little bumblebees, really, really sweet. And on the back, this is all um, various sentiments. So choose to be happy, enjoy today, beautiful, make a wish, wild and free. So yeah, there's a nice little array there. And then this, this is really pretty. This is probably one of my favourites from this pack. It is um, butterflies over like wood board, but it's also got some distressed text in the background. And these ones, you get two of each design. So there's two of those, two of the bumblebees, and two of the sentiment sheets. So, they are the pattern papers. And then, I'm just going to pop these over here, out of the way. And then, the cardstock is an American and Canadian letter size, so it's eight and a half by 11 inches. There are four sheets. There's moss green, burnt orange, graphite, and this is canvas embossed gold mirror. So you get those. And that is the floral wishes mega pack. And then we have under the sea. Now this is a personal favorite. These are all my colors. So I'm very happy about this one. So there is an enormous stamp set. And of course I don't have my ruler to hand. So I'm going to cheat. It is nine inches by six inches, so it's really nice and big. Um, and there's multiples, so you can actually spell out words. You haven't got to just use the A and then replace it to move it further down the line if you want. It's also got numbers and some punctuation as well. So a little bit of everything there. There are 10 dies in this mega pack. We have a dolphin. An octopus with a little happy face. We have some seaweed, which I'm sure all the creative people out there will come up with some different ideas as to what else that can be used for. A different shaped seaweed, and I'm sure that would double up as some nice little bush or foliage. A seahorse, which is perhaps one of my favourite creatures. A starfish. A different shaped seaweed. A happy little crab and two different sized bubbles. So we have those and then the patterned papers, the same format as with the others, they're eight by eight inches and you get two of each design. Okay. And this, I mean, this is just divine. It's glittered mermaids. I mean, can you ask for anything more? <laughs> so you get two of those. This is like um, a galaxy night sky with pearl. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the thing that's nice about having two sheets is you can have one to use and one to keep. <laughs> um, so we have a spot gloss finish over this, making it almost almost like a Moroccan tile shape, but with the patterns behind it, um, all in coordinating colours. This is another spot gloss, and it's almost like waves at the top. And this has got little glitter um, speckles over the stars. two of those and it's got this really lovely like um, gradient effect and so now we're into the double sided and so um, they're, they're already turned so we have marble on one side and then we have a, another sort of marble with a white stripe over the top 
we have a very similar pattern to the spot gloss one there we have another sort of it's almost like sea or marble with a nice gradient on it some more stars on like a nice purple finish mermaids and starfish but very muted so not overpowering for the back of a card we've got some nice anchors on purple a lovely gradient from mauve through to sort of teal green seahorses lovely pretty seahorses the helm of a boat then you have a very soft stripe it's almost like a wash stripe it's, it's, there's no harshness to the edges of the um, coats another gradient between sort of like a nice warm red down to purple this is really pretty and this you could even cut apart if you wanted to to cut the shells out of various shapes and sizes and some starfish and then these they look like little gems the way that they've been done there with the polka dots um, so again ever so pretty and then we have um, it's almost like mermaid scales fish scales in purple and then another take in different colours with, with a more definite edge and then this is where we're coming into the two of the same designs so there we go and then there's bubbles so that is the patterned papers let me show you the cardstock again American and Canadian this size 8.5 by 11 and we have mint green midnight blue silver and royal purple and they're all pearl and very shiny so they go beautifully with this mega pack so they are the two mega packs from this month a larger one and a smaller one because of the die sets and then I'm putting back into stock the Nouveau glue pens in the fine the medium and the broad tip they are all in the shop and available and then I've done a big Fiskars haul so I've already had this one out this is my one now <laughs> so you're not seeing it in the packaging but it's an extendable trimmer which is lovely especially on my craft desk where there seems to be piles and piles of everything so having one that folds down and it's nice and slim line is great and then to go with that I am listing the three blade options so there is um, the regular blades the blades that are made from titanium and this is one cutting blade and one scoring blade so those three variations are in the shop there are scissor, scissor sharpeners that's not easy to say um, again available in the shop um, but these are for right handed scissors please, please note because of the way that the um, the holes line up with the blades you can't use left-handed scissors and on that note I'm going to show you something a little bit selfish I'm not sure whether or not any of you are aware but I am a left-handed crafter and I have spent my life holding scissors that hurt my hands and I found some left-handed ones and they sit so nicely so I've got left-handed scissors in the shop which I'm very happy about I will get some right-handed ones as well I promise um, but I have got an array of different scissors. So these are non-stick micro tip scissors. Also got, for those with uh, dexterity problems, these lovely big handles so your whole hand can go in. Still got a nice precision tip, but you can use your whole hand. If um, your index finger and thumb struggle, that will make it much easier. Also along that line, there are these. These are Easy Action Micro Tip Soft Grip. Now, what they do is they cut as you squeeze, so it's they, but it opens itself as it were. So they're brilliant. I've seen lots of lots of crafty friends using those. I have also got the swivel tip fingertip knife. Now, I actually have one of these, not the swivel knife. I have just the regular knife. But the nice thing about the swivelers is you can sort of drag your hand and it will, the blade will just turn with you. So that's brilliant. And I've also got the replacement blades there for that. We've got, I've got a regular soft grip art knife. So just a regular sort of 
pull and drag effect. These, these are classic needlework scissors, so the tip on them is ever so fine, so you can really dig in. <laughs> Brilliant. I wish I'd thought about getting this before Christmas because you hold it gently at the top. Between these two pieces of orange plastic here, there is a tiny blade, so it's not something you can cut yourself on, and it's safe for children. Um, and you lay the paper and you push it, and then it just it drags up and it cuts it. It's, it's like magic. So we have those in the shop as well. So that is my full release, my lovelies. Um, I hope that you've liked it. If anyone's able to let me know what the flowers are from the Floral Wishes Mega Pack, that would be great. Thank you very much. Um, my 10 cards one kit from the February kit is going to be up very shortly and hopefully you're keeping up with me on social media whilst I'm at Creativation. Anyway, thanks very much for watching guys. Take care and until next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.